Hey everyone. First of all, I want to tell you that you can find a more detailed text version of this video on my website csbpro.com in the Counter-Strike 2 Scripts section. In this video, I want to talk about scripting in Counter-Strike 2. The title of the article on the site is 5 Necessary Commands to Create Scripts. One of the bind toggle commands has been removed, since in the updated Counter-Strike 2, its functions can be performed by the toggle command. So what is a script in Counter-Strike 2? In the context of Counter-Strike, a script typically refers to a set of commands or instructions that a player can execute in the game using the console. These scripts can automate certain actions, bind keys to specific commands, or change game settings. To create scripts in Counter-Strike, you'll need to use the game's console commands. Here are four important commands to get you started to create own scripts. Bind, alias, toggle, and increment var. The bind command. The bind command in Counter-Strike is used to assign a specific action, command, or set of commands to a key on your keyboard or mouse. The syntax for the bind command is bind key command. To make the script easier to read, it is advisable to write the key and command with his value in quotes. If a group of commands is executed, then quotes are required and commands are separated by a semicolon. Bind key. Command 1, command 2, command 3. Let's create a two simple binds to display on and off current FPS. As you can see by pressing the H and J keys, I turn on and turn off display of current FPS. Let's create the bind for multiple commands. In this bind, I use the buy command twice to buy the sniper rifle and the desert eagle pistol, the say command to send a message to the general chat, and the echo command to send a message to the game console. As you can see, the message was sent to the public chat, to the console, the alias command. An alias in Counter-Strike is an alternative name or a command that represents a more complex command or a series of commands. You create an alias by giving it a short name and assigning it one or more commands to execute. Then, whenever you type that short name in the console, it runs all the commands you assign to it. The syntax for the alias command is alias name command. To make the script easier to read, it is advisable to write the name and command with their values in quotes. If a group of commands is executed, then quotes are required and commands are separated by a semicolon. For example, alias name, command 1, command 2, command 3. Here's an example of an alias command. The new sniper console command will buy the AWP rifle and the Desert Eagle pistol, send the message, I'm a sniper, to the public chat, and display the message, the sniper bind is executed in the game console.
As you can see, the message was sent to the public chat and to the console. The Toggle Command In Counter-Strike, the Toggle Command is typically used to switch between two states of a particular feature or setting. However, the exact Toggle Command can vary depending on what you're trying to toggle. The Toggle Command is used in conjunction with the Bind Command. The syntax for the Toggle Command is Bind Key Toggle Command If your console command function or script provides only two states as a rule on off or true false then it is not necessary to specify the values if more you should to specify needed values examples each time you press the H key the FPS counter will toggle between its two values displayed and not displayed each time you press the J key the radar will zoom to the specified value As you can see, pressing the H button toggles the current FPS display on and off, and pressing the J button toggles the radar zoom. The Increment VAR Command In Counter-Strike 2, the Increment VAR Command enables you to incrementally cycle through specified values with a defined step, smoothly transitioning from a minimum to a maximum. The syntax for the increment var command is bind key, increment var command, main, max, step. With this bind, each time you press the H key, your mouse sensitivity will increase by 0.25, cycling through the range of 1 to 5. Once it reaches the maximum value of 5, the next press will reset it to the minimum value of 1. As you can see, pressing the H key toggles the mouse sensitivity value. Now let's create a simple, useful, and informative script. The goal is to display the current score, FPS, ping, and any network issues when I press and hold the tab key. Here's the script. This script creates a new console command, draw, and binds it to the tab key. When the tab key is pressed and held, it executes the commands in the first line. Upon release, it executes the commands in the second line. Simple and useful. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Your support means the world to me, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy frags. Bye for now.